So I'm back today to show you a quick method that you can do in class to understand the moon phases from the space perspective. So in the diagram that I have, I have the Earth with eight observers. Around the Earth is the moon's revolution. The moon's gonna go through its cycle of phases, sunlight on the right. So if sunlight on the right, that means that each of these moon phases will be darkened on the left. So we'll do this kind of quickly. I'm gonna take the moon, gonna split it right in half. Left side of the moon is going to be darkened because the sun's coming in from the right side. So this is kind of a kind of a quick shade in here. I can even do that with the earth as well. Anything spherical in space, half of it is going to be illuminated, half of it is going to be darkened. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw what I call the cone of visibility. The cone of visibility, whatever is gonna be in the cone is gonna be what the observer is gonna see. So this is kinda of how I do things. So I'm gonna take just a different color here and I'm just gonna go through it. I'm gonna draw the orbit of the moon around the earth. I'm actually gonna draw the orbit right through the moon. Like so. The moon's orbit goes counterclockwise around. So the reason why I do it like this is because whatever's on the inside of the orbit, whatever's gonna be on the inside of the orbit is what the observer can see. So watch, this is kind of a foolproof way of doing things. You always wanna start out with the moon phase between the Earth and the sun. That's gonna be the new moon. So this is gonna be position number one. So watch what I do. I'm just gonna rotate my diagram. From the observer's head, I draw a line to the left side of the moon and also to the right side. Notice what's in the cone. Whatever's in the cone is what the observer can see. The observer is seeing a darkened moon. That is going to be the new moon. The new moon's gonna look like this. That's what the new moon would look like to the observer on Earth. Three and a half days later, come to position number two. If I draw the cone of visibility, there's a little sliver of light on the right. That's a waxing crescent. Waxing crescent looks like that. Little sliver of light on the right. So we have our new moon. Waxing crescent. One week into the observer's viewpoint of the moon. One week into the cycle of phases. You'll see that in the cone of visibility, it's a 50-50 split. Light on the right, this is a first quarter moon. First quarter, light on the right. So you can see how the progression goes. Light on the right, light on the right. About 10 days into the cycle of phases, in the cone of visibility, you have almost a full moon, but not quite. This is a waxing gibbous. and give us looks like that. And then two weeks into the moon's cycle of phases in the cone of visibility is completely illuminated. Completely illuminated moon, that's a full moon. So there are all of our waxing phases from new moon to full moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full. Again, whatever is gonna be in the cone of visibility, you can observe very easily and figure out what the moon phase is gonna be. Now the waning phases get a little bit trickier because we wanna look at these phases from the person on Earth, 
not from your perspective on in your seat. So I'm gonna take my diagram, I'm gonna rotate it around. I'm gonna draw my cone of visibility. What's in the cone is almost all light, but now the light is on the left. This is a waning gibbous. Light on the left. Waning gibbous can look like that. Opposite of waxing gibbous. So if we are gonna put numbers on, the, on this, number one, number two, this is number three, this is position four, position five, position six. You'll see this diagram quite a bit in your Regents exams. Third quarter moon. Now, I'm not looking at the third quarter from my perspective from my seat. I wanna look at it from the observer's perspective on Earth. So if I turn it upside down, Light on the left, third quarter moon. Sometimes this is called the last quarter. Again, light is on the left. And then finally, position number eight. This is gonna be a waning Crescent. Again, how do I get the waning crescent? Well, from the observer on Earth, if you draw on the cone of visibility, you have a little sliver of light on the left. Like that. So there are all of our stages starting at a new moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full waning gibbous third quarter waning crescent back to new that cycle of phases takes about one month about 30 days or about four weeks if you are not 100 percent sure how to get the moon phase from the space perspective of the moon orbiting the earth draw in the cone of visibility and the cone of visibility helps you understand what each phase is going to look like in relation to the observer on Earth. So you saw me kind of rotate my diagram around a little bit, just kind of get that perspective from the person on Earth. If you do this properly, you can get the phase absolutely no problem. So I hope this is a little piece of information that might be able to help you out with your studies with the moon phases. Try it out, give it a shot, maybe do it on a worksheet that your teacher gives you. Hopefully it works for you and we'll talk to everyone soon. Good luck.